sir. I'm Sean. I'll be your nurse today. I'm going to be giving you a bed bath, okay? Just going to make sure a few things. Going to check that you're who you actually say you are. You are uh, Gabe Alviar, correct? And you were born on 6-5-2000, correct? Correct. All right, sounds good. All right, from here, I'd wash my hands, and I'd gather my supplies. I'd gather the blankets, towels, pillow sheets, and the water basin. I'd fill that 110 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. I would don gloves, and I would get started. Did I mention? And I'd wash my hands before I don gloves, and get started. So, what you start off doing is, sir, I'm gonna remove your pillow, okay? And I put a replacement towel underneath. Now you can lower your head again. And sir, I'm gonna cover you with a bath towel, okay? Or a, yeah, bath towel. No, not a bath towel. I'll cover you with a sheet to uh, make sure that you don't chill during the procedure, okay? This is just to prevent chilling while you're in your bath. Comfortable? You okay? Yes, sir. All right. And I'd remove the top layer of the water <laughs> that was originally on top. Making sure I'm keeping good body mechanics about this. Since this was used before, I keep it away from my uniform, which I didn't, but I will. And then I put in a laundry hamper <laughs> that goes into the soiled bin. From here, I ask the patient, sir, for your face, do you want hot water or just uh, or just water on your face, or do you want soap and water on your face? To wear for just the purpose of this exercise, you'd say soap and water. But you don't want to use soap on his eyes because it will cause burning sensation. So we just use water. So, oh, do you, you feel this temperature, sir? Is this temperature okay? Yes. Water? Feel good? Okay. Yes, sir. All right, from here, we rub from the inner canthus to the outer canthus of the eyes using different corners of the towel to prevent the spread of infection. Then we would pat dry it, obviously with the smaller towel <laughs> at one point, and then we go use soap and do the cheeks, and the forehead, down to the neck, and the ears, the patient, you rinse in the same direction, the cheeks, forehead, the ears and the neck, all right, we stop that, we get our towel and we pat dry those places, pat dry, and then we'd be done with the face. From here, we would go down to the right, the arm furthest from you first, soap and hot water, in the basin, expose the arm, and we're going to go from the distal end to the proximal end first. So long strokes, long firm strokes down, and to the axilla, and lower that back down, cover it to prevent chilling, soak in water, that back up, long strokes down, the axilla, and back down, and then from here you would pat and dry it, pat dry on each side of the arm that you washed, under the axilla, and back down. Then we go to the closer arm to you. Do this arm as well. Again, from distal to proximal end, 
long strokes down, long deep strokes and firm strokes. Under the axle up, down, rinse, 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 the arm, under the axilla, back down, cover, prevent chilling, grab the towel, and do a pat dry from distal to proximal end, and under the axilla. From here, you ex sir, I'm going to expose your chest and your uh, torso, okay? From here, it's open water, and in a circular motion, you would rub the chest and the abdomen. Mm -hmm. And then you'd rinse, rinse, rinse. Same thing. Then you would pat dry the areas that you just washed, and then you'd be done with the chest and abdomen. From here, you would then change the water and take off the gloves that you previously did to uh, avoid infection and spread of disease or germs or anything like that, and then you'd continue with the legs. Because we are low in supplies in this household, we are going to use this jacket as a towel that would go underneath the legs. So, patient brace her legs, lower that down, and now you do soap and water from the distal end to the proximal end. Oh, sorry, the proximal end to the distal end. Mock strokes. Okay, rinse, rinse, rinse. Proximal to distal. Make sure you get the feet. Then you would pat dry the leg. Proximal to distal. under here too. Gonna need that. Then you go to the other leg, place the towel underneath this leg. And then we'd wash from the proximal end with soap and water to the distal end and then the other leg. So it's in the side a little more. You don't want to get in the inguinal area just yet. You want to use different water for that. Get the foot. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Proximal to distal. Just water. Foot. And then you would pat dry from proximal to distal with the towel underneath the leg. From here, the patient wanted, you would let the feet soak in water for three to five minutes. Let's just say it. it's soaking right now. From here, you would change the water, yet again, you would wash your, not you wouldn't wash your hands, you'd get a new set of gloves on, and you would begin to work on the inguinal area. I'm not gonna do that on my cousin right here, so I'm just gonna walk you through it. Uh, basically what I would do is I'd have my new water basin, I would have a new set of gloves, I would grab the shaft of the penis, pull back the foreskin, and in a circular motion, rub the glands and the uh, meatus of the penis. And then after I'm done with that, I'd rinse it, and then pat dry it, then I would let it 
go back into its original position with a little forward motion. And after that, I'd grab the shaft of the penis again, and I'd uh, wash it towards the scrotum, and then I would rinse it and pat dry it. And for the scrotum, I would wash it and rinse it, and then also dry it. And also, in this process, in the upper thighs of the inguinal area, I would also wash both sides, and I'd rinse it, and then I'd also dry it. Alright, fast forwarding, sir, are you able to, that, oh, after that, I would, again, change the water, take off my gloves, wash my hands, because you just dealt with the inguinal area, and then don your gloves after that. Sir, are you able to roll over on your side, uh, assisted, because you want to move the patient to prone position or sims position, are you able to roll over that way? with some ass assistance, okay? Because you want to expose the back to wash that. From here, I would get soap and water, and I'd be washing from the neckline down to the buttocks. And I'd rinse, again, from the neckline down to the buttocks. I'd get my towel, after my pat dry, from the neckline, again, down to the buttocks. All right, and then I'd offer the patient if you wanted a back massage. Sir, would you like a back massage? Yes. Oh. Well, but for the purpose of this, I won't actually give him a back massage. I'll just do that. That's the back massage. All right, so we're going to roll you back over to your back, okay? Ready? All right. All right. Three, two, back on your back. All right, from here, I remove the bath blanket because the bath is almost complete. Now I just got to change the sheets. Move the bath blanket, keeping it away from my uniform into the soiled linen over here the towel into the linen hamper. Right. Then from here, I'm going to take the towel that was underneath him. Also. And I would push these ends into the center of the patient. I get my new bed sheet, which happens to be a blanket for this exercise because low on materials in this household. And make sure when you put it underneath the patient, that it's underneath the soiled linen that you just put underneath him. All right, then you log roll the patient towards you, making sure you're keeping proper body mechanics. So I'm gonna be grabbing your arm and your leg, all right, or your shoulder. On three, we're gonna roll towards me, ready? All right, one, two, three. Work like a charm, it's always that easy. <laughs> and his personal belongings, you wanna put that on the table aside for him. And you're gonna be removing that original soiled top sheet that he's still on, <laughs> the size of the bed, keeping it away from your body into the soiled linen container. And then the new top sheet will be <laughs> pulled to this side. Again, I think it would be a little easier if it was on a regular sized pen. <laughs> this is all we got. <laughs> Stay still. Alright. And then when you're done making the bed, you roll the patient back over. Alright, so we're gonna roll you back over onto your back. Ready? 
three, two, one. All right, we're gonna center you a little more. You need help centering yourself. Oh, you look good right there. All right, so here, you got your pillow. You remove the old sheet from it, away from your uniform, laundry hamper. And you get the new pillow sheet. Oh, pretend that didn't fall on the ground because that would have ended up in the soiled linen. I have to go get another one. But we're gonna pretend that it didn't fall on the ground because again, low on resources over here. We're gonna put a new pillow sheet. Ignore the dogs, a figment of your imagination. And sir, I'm going to be raising your head. Put the new pillow underneath the patient. You can relax your head. Got a new blanket for the patient. Make sure his feet can still move at the bottom. to right position, put him either in semi fowlers or leave him in semi fowlers or lay him flat depending on what he wants. Raise the side rails and from here do a document your uh, findings on the skin, uh, what bath you did and so on just to make sure that it's correctly documented so people know that you actually did it. And that is how you bathe the patient.